Hey, my name is Michael. I'm the uh, pastor at North Village Church, and I've uh, been married 20 years and uh, to a beautiful girl named Holly. I have a 15-year-old daughter named Kennedy and a 12-year-old son named Tucker, and just putting together some videos for encouragement in marriage. And in this video, we're talking about uh, what, what does it mean to be a biblical wife? So, so uh, here, here's our uh, focus for uh, Scripture from Genesis 2, verse 18. Genesis 2, verse 18 then the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Okay, we, we, uh, we touched on this in the, in the first video, but just talking about the role of a wife. And, and when you hear that language of a suitable helper, like that's, that's controversial language in our uh, culture of 2020. And so let me just walk through some quick uh, points of, of explanation of what scripture means when it says suitable helper. Well, the first one is when you when you see the word suitable, what 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 does God's word mean uh, with the word uh, suitable? And and really, when you break down that word in the original language, it it means um, so as to to complement Adam that she's the opposite of Adam. I mean, you have to. Remember that Adam is in the garden. He's been with these animals, and and he's naming the animals. And so it's like bark, bark, antelope. You know, not like me, not like me, not like me. And then he comes to the woman, and he's like, "Wow, she's like me, um, but she's just the opposite, right? She's not as hairy. Uh, she's smooth, and uh, she she's complementary towards Adam. And so when you when you hear that word suitable, it's not it's not intended to be a negative connotation or to be degrading, but that she's simply complimentary. The second explanation is just in uh, that question around helper. What does the word helper mean? And when you look at the word helper in the original language, again, it's not a connotation of weak or unable or you know negative. It's actually a connotation of power. It's a powerful term uh, in, in the original language. It's um, how Jesus refers to the Holy Spirit as our helper, the third person of the Trinity, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, as our helper. Uh, it's, uh, it's a connotation of um, like an army battalion being under attack and the God of Scripture saying, oh no, send in the helper. Like that's the context for which Eve, a wife, is showing up in marriage that she is powerful. Well, the last explanation is just the, the question of what do these words suitable helper not mean? And so just real quickly, I mean, what they don't mean is um, some 1950s connotation, uh, you know, where, where women have very little voice. It doesn't mean that the, the wife has to do everything the husband says. Like, that's not what it, uh, it means at all. Like, um, the husband's responsibility is to point himself and his wife to Jesus. So at any point that the husband's spiritual leadership violates that first uh, goal, Jesus is the one the wife listens to. And, and so that's her. Her role is not to compliment her husband um, and, and to bring a powerful force of influence toward her husband uh, away from Jesus, um, but but the, the very opposite to to compliment her husband as they both are running toward uh, Jesus. It it doesn't mean uh, that the wife doesn't have a uh, a voice in uh, the decisions that are made in marriage. Uh, like I I I seek my wife's uh, uh, input on everything. Uh, we do in marriage. Proverbs teaches me that uh, my wife is a, is a crown, right? That she's a gift. Um, so I ask her um, all the time, what do you think? <laughs> uh, and I absolutely want her voice in our marriage. I want her fingerprints on our marriage because our marriage is going to look uh, the way it was intended. It's going to look more beautiful. And, and as a husband, and that's my responsibility to lead us to a place that my wife is speaking up and influencing um, our marriage and, and bringing that godly gift of, of helper, powerful role that, uh, that, that she has to offer. Look, I, I know this is different uh, for our culture today. There's, there's probably a bit of 
you wanting to say like that's cool that uh, but you know we're kind of 50 50 and uh, that's how we're gonna roll but you want to step into these roles like when a husband is leading and when a wife is helping that that marriage is 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 going to be more dynamic and more powerful than, than you can imagine. Uh, and and you, you go into any restaurant uh, in any city, uh, and the majority of marriages in our culture today, and you're going to see a husband is kind of checking out. Like he's watching Sports Center, you know, over the shoulder. He's not really engaged uh, with the kids. He's not really engaged with the spouse. Maybe he's looking at his at his phone. Uh, and you're going to see a wife wife doing everything like she's cutting the food she's ordering the food she's paying the bill she's talking to the food server I mean she's multitasking and at first at first uh, the the husband's gonna be like this is great I don't have to do anything look at her go she looks so confident and competent I'm gonna let her run with it and I'm just gonna check out and the wife at first is like this is awesome because man I, I, I have a lot to offer and she is strong and she's smart and she's great and she's killing it but I promise you like over time, that husband's going to disengage. He's going to feel emasculated. He's going to feel like he's being treated like one of the children. He's going to start looking to spend his time in other places, to lead out in other places than in his home. And I promise you, the wife is going to resent her husband. She's going to lose respect for him because he's acting like one of the children. And she's going she's gonna to think, like, man, I did not. I didn't bite this off when uh, I didn't want this when uh, we got married and and they're going to start thinking maybe we should get divorced maybe we've married the wrong people maybe we've fallen out of love maybe marriage doesn't work and that's not true marriage does work it is a gift but there are roles and when you function in those roles you will thrive and you will experience and taste and enjoy the beautiful gift of marriage. So I know that's a lot, and I hope that's helpful. Uh, we're going to get into the nitty-gritty with communication in the next video, conflict, talking about how to navigate these conversations uh, in, a, in a healthy way. So I look forward to it. Thanks so much.